This video is sponsored by Alcet E Homes, whose mission it is to accelerate the advent of sustainable healthy living systems around the world. Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So I have shown you this little tweet before from good old Mark Spiegel from back in 2014, when Elon said Tesla would probably be able to produce about 500,000 EVs in 2020. Mark of course thought this was insane, because as he wrote, if Tesla sells 35,000 cars this year, 2014 as they did, 500,000 sales in 2020 would imply a six-year compound annual growth rate of 56%. No complex product manufacturer has ever grown that quickly from a revenue base of $3 million or more. Yes, Max Beagle, that is correct. No one has ever done that before. It would be absurd if Tesla could pull this off. But they did. And now, when Tesla doesn't give a specific number, but just say we expect a growth of 50% here in 2021, it just sounds too low. Even for the bears, 750,000 cars in 2021, we all know that is just too low. But if Tesla only grew with 56% like they did for the last six years, and we looked at that going forward another six years and all the way to 2030, I think we will see Tesla is heading for total domination in not just the EV market, but the entire car market because Tesla has known this for years and have been preparing themselves for this crazy growth. And we see all the pieces being put into place. So I really have a hard time seeing how Tesla shall not make 20 million EVs in 2030. And I think you will see after watching this video that 20 million EVs are actually a very low target. Yes, low target. So, let me show you why and get ready to get your mind blown and let's dive right in. So I will go through some of the pieces why this is going to be possible later, but let's just start with the simple but fun part, looking back and looking forward, trying to get some idea of what Tesla has accomplished and what that could mean for the future. As I have shown in the intro, Tesla did the absurd growth rate of 56% over a six year period. Not exactly 56% every single year, but on average. But let's just do a little fun exercise here by starting in 2014 and watch this play out. So they made 35,000 cars in 2014. So now we are just going to add about 56% every single year and see where that takes us. So in 2015, 54,000 cars. In 16, 85,000 cars in 17, 132,000 cars, a little higher to the real number, but in 2018, 207,000 cars, that is a little low, and in 2019, 323 cars, that is also a little low, but in 2020, 504,000 cars, and Tesla did produce 506,000 cars in 2020 and delivered 500,000. Right? on the money. As predicted by Elon Musk, Mark Spiegel on the other hand was not even close. Neither was Jim Chanos, Bob Lotz and so on, because they all thought Tesla would be dead by now. But let's take a look if we continue this trend with about 56% growth year over year. So in 2021, that would be 786,000. So that would be right at Tesla's target of 50% growth, getting over 750,000 cars. But even the bears think this estimate is too low. It will probably be more like 850 to 900,000 cars. The 1 million is going to be hard now with the Model X and S not really being produced and sold in the first five months. 
the chip shortage and much more. So 1 million target has probably shipped, but 850 and 900,000 is kind of what the prediction from most analysts is, even many bears. So the 56% growth this year is probably very, very conservative, but that is also fun. So let's just continue and see where this is heading. So in 2022, 1.2 million. Also very low. I can't see how Tesla will not deliver 2 million cars next year with two new factories coming online, spitting out Model Ys and the Cybertruck stand being delivered, spitting out in high volumes in the US because Tesla will not be battery constrained in 2022 to get to 2 million cars. They would be able to do that just with the batteries from suppliers, not even counting their own 4680 cells. So to me, this 1.2 million in 2022 is ridiculously low. But let's stay with this very, very conservative number here. And in 2023, 1.9, low, 24, almost 3 million, and 25, 4.6 million cars. And remember, this is on the growth rate that Tesla has done through the last six years. So nothing that can be done. And we see that only 56% growth in 2021. Even the bears think that is too low. And 56% for 2022 is just ridiculously low. So they are growing faster now than they have done before. As we have been talking about so many times, Tesla is speeding up. So this number of 4.6 million in 2025 is my absolute lowest bear case I can give. To me, this is very, very conservative. But I will show you a little fun bull case afterwards because we are now only in 2025. Let's continue this growth to 2030. So in 2026, still with only 56% growth rate, we are at 7.2 million cars. So getting close to the 8 million units Morgan Stanley has for 2030, <laughs> which is also ridiculously low. But 2027, 11.3 million cars, 28, 17.6 million cars, 29, boom, 27 million cars and 2030, <laughs> <laughs> 43 million cars. And that is if Tesla hold the same growth rate through the next six years as they had done through the last six years. And everything is pointing at Tesla speeding up, not holding the same rate. So if we start in 2022, where we have a pretty good guess that Tesla will get close to 2 million cars because they have the factories and the batteries to do so. And then still give them an average of 56% growth rate the coming years. Tesla will be at 28 million already in 2028. Just nuts. So we can see the growth story to 20 million in 2030 seems likely with the growth we have seen from Tesla so far. And even with a conservative growth rate, they should easily be able to do 20 million in 2030. And we know Tesla is building battery factories that can produce 200 gigawatt hours and more. And they will just keep ramping this up and is aiming for 3000 gigawatt hours in 2030. So Tesla has invented a battery that can be mass produced fast enough to actually make this happen. The others don't. They build battery factories that are more expensive than Tesla's battery factories, but they will only produce like one tenth of what Tesla's battery factories will produce. Like Honda's nine gigawatt hour battery factories in UK, that is simply just laughable. So Tesla will be able to produce enough batteries. So the only thing left is the materials that goes into the batteries. Can they get enough of this? Well, Firstly, Tesla has got the rise to a 10,000 acre lithium and clay deposit in Nevada, where Tesla will extract the lithium using pretty much only salt. So Tesla will build a battery material plant in the US for both nickel and lithium that they will mine and even do an on-site lithium conversion, which other OEM are doing this. Yeah, that's right. No one, not even the other mining companies know how to mine lithium as Tesla has been invented here using only table salt. 
And when Tesla is done mining in the area, you will not even be able to see they have been there. This is how environmentally friendly this process is. And remember, Tesla will use the iron cathode batteries for storage and standard range product. And iron we have in an abundance. So this will also help Tesla with scaling up very fast. And remember, Tesla already recycled 100% of all the materials of their batteries today. But that has been done by mostly third parties so far but for over one year Tesla has been recycling batteries at the Reno factory and this will also give Tesla access to a very big amount of good materials for their batteries and this will only continue to grow as more and more batteries are being recycled and Tesla believes eventually that is how all materials for batteries will be mined in the future through recycling when we get to a steady production of 20 terawatt hours so tesla has gone into mining themselves has already gotten rights to lithium deposits in the u.s they will recycle batteries for even more materials and tesla is trying to make deals with the biggest mining companies in the countries like indonesia and australia and many more because unlike other OEMs that is partnering with big battery manufacturer, Tesla is going straight for the mine, bypassing the middleman because Tesla is the battery manufacturer. They are not just partnering with battery manufacturers like they have done with Panasonic, CATL, and LG Chem and so on. Well, they will still continue to do that, but Tesla will also go straight for the mines and make giga contracts for the mining companies that will sell them the material so tesla take a totally different approach to this than everyone else and have even found faster cheaper better ways of getting these materials from the ground so yes every other oem will be fighting for batteries from all the battery manufacturer but even someone like Volkswagen that says they will make their own batteries well, that is still Northvolt that is going to make them for them. And they also supply BMW and many others. So even though it sounds like Volkswagen is copying what Tesla is doing and making their own batteries, but this is not the same thing, not even close. So yes, the others will be battery constrained, but Tesla has made sure they will not be battery constrained, not even material constrained. Tesla expect 50% compound annual growth rate for the EV battery production, going pretty well hand in hand with their compound annual growth rate of its cars and storage business. So no, Tesla will not be battery constrained already from 2022 and going forward. But how will Tesla be able to sell so many cars? Well, two points here. Firstly, everyone else seems to have a target of 40 or 50 or 60% EV market share in 2030. So if this is the pace of the legacy automaker, Tesla will just have an endless market to grow in, because even in 2030, the legacy automakers don't expect to be much more than maybe 60% EVs, so Tesla will have all the demand they can ever wish for. And at that point, Tesla will also have the $25,000 car and probably much cheaper ones in 2026 and going forward to 2030. But they don't even have to sell so many cars because after 2025 or thereabout, I think it is inevitable that Tesla will have full self-driving cars. So if Tesla in 2028 will be able to produce 22 million or 28 million, well, they will just produce them all because they don't even have to sell them. They will just put them into their ever-growing robo-taxi fleet that Tesla owns and will implement them around the world. And as I have said before, as soon as we have full self-driving cars, they will quickly be implemented around the world because Tesla will be able to show with data from the car that they are a hundred times safer than us human drivers. So the question is more, when will we not be allowed to drive? drive on public roads because we continue to kill people. I think that is more likely than full self-driving not being allowed.
So Tesla does not even need the normal car market anymore at that point because they will earn about $30,000 a year every year on a robo taxi instead of maybe 6,000 in profit once from selling a car to a customer. It will be much, much, much better business for Tesla just to put their car in their robo taxi system than continue to selling cars to the public. So that will also be a question. Will Tesla continue to sell to you and I after 2030? And they can also use their cheaper iron cathode batteries for the robo taxi because no one cares what kind of range there is in the robo taxi. So this will also make it much easier for Tesla to get all the materials they need here as well. So this was my little overview of why I think Tesla will be able to grow to 20 million cars produced in 2030. And that might actually be a very conservative number. But time will tell. But what do you think? Do you also think Tesla has been making all the right moves through the last decade, getting all the pieces in place, making sure they have their destiny in their own hands? Or do you think this is way too optimistic <laughs> and Tesla will never be able to pull this off? Just like back in 2014 when people thought 500,000 in production was absurd. Well, let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>